Today we're down at Manly Boat Harbour, um, just outside the front of uh, Queensland Parks and Wildlife. Transport main roads have allowed us to, to do some training with our new Smart Cart 7. Uh, so the Smart Cart 7 is um, a hull cleaning machine used for grooming and cleaning. Um, today it's, it's training day effectively to give all our divers exposure to the machine, uh, do the pre-starts. Uh, there's a comprehensive pre-start schedule um, that Biofailing Solutions or the, the manufacturer have given us. Um, so we'll go for a walk through and explain what the operation looks like. Uh, so this is the Smart Cart 7 and um, the brushes that are on here today is uh, just the wire brushes and we're going to use them on the boat ramp because if the boat ramp presents with slime and algae or barnacles um, this is quite effective in removing them. Uh, inside the centre of the smart cot you've got the impeller and the impeller is designed to um, obviously suck up any debris that is collected and then you've got the shroud and the shroud is designed to uh, obviously not leak any contamination into the water. So on the smart cot itself, um, hip controls. So these controls, uh, this is originally smart cot 6, so the evolution of this machine comes from uh, Singapore where um, there's been 30 years of research and development. A number of other machines have been developed and are currently in operation in one of the world's most busiest harbours um, and active uh, locations for hull cleaning and grooming. Um, this is the latest model because it's super diver friendly. Um, this is called the, um, the, the swivel. So any, all the marine growth that's collected goes through the swivel and is pumped uh, to the surface where it's collected in the filtration system. This over here is the hydraulic power pack. <clears throat> uh, this power pack is a diesel operated power pack in a silenced box. Um, so part of today's exercise is just making the guys familiar with how the reel works, how the smart cart works, how the power pack works, going through the pre-start procedures. And we've nominated a boat ramp and the visibility is quite clear. And it's just a really nice conservative location just to, to have, a, have a bit of a play around. Our stakeholders involved in today's uh, trial and training day include uh, Queensland Parks and Wildlife or uh, the Department of Environment and Science. Uh, we have uh, Marine Parks or MSQ. We have Department of Transport and Main Roads. Um, we have Biosecurity Queensland. All those stakeholders have an interest. Um, workplace Health and Safety. So they're all coming down today just to, uh, to see what we're doing, be involved in, in this evolution, um, give us some pointers, and it's important that all stakeholders have an interest. Um, effectively, we're all accountable for ensuring that we comply with the environmental risks and, and safety risks associated. With it.